Hi, I am Shatavdi Das from Bentley Systems. We often hear that a huge loss of lives and properties due to earthquake. No, earthquakes don't kill, buildings do. So, let's move one step towards safety. In this video, we will perform seismic analysis of a multi-storied building using StatPro Connect Edition. We will confine to static analysis today. This is the building model we will be working on. In analytical modeling mode, we go to loading. Under load and definition, we can see various load definitions available. We will select seismic definitions. In the seismic definition window, we have the provision of various codes as per the location of the building. For instance, we select IS1893-2002-2005 and generate. We choose zone 5 that is the zone with very severe seismic intensity. We select the response reduction factor for spatial RC moment resisting frame which is a seismic design parameter to consider non-linear performance of building structures during strong earthquake. Importance factor depends on the functional use of the structure. Here we choose for all general buildings. We will take medium type of soil with structure type as RC frame building and add these parameters. For defining seismic weight, we need to provide required weights through this window. Generally, Full dead load and a part of live load as per relevant codes are used as seismic weight for the structure. So, let's add self weight factor 1 and a flow load of 6.75 kN per meter square for a Y range of 3 to 15 meter. Now we will add primary load cases. We select loading type as seismic and create load case for the earthquake in the positive x direction. Similarly, we will create load cases for earthquake in negative x direction, positive z direction and negative z direction. We will also add dead load case and live load case. To add seismic load items to the earthquake in the positive x direction, we provide direction as x and factor as 1. Now, for earthquake in negative x direction, we choose direction as x and factor as minus 1. Similarly, for earthquake in positive z direction and negative z direction, we will add the seismic load items. To add self weight under dead load case, in the load case section, we opt for y direction with factor minus 1. We provide a flow load of minus 3.75 kN per meter square, considering a slab of thickness 150 mm for the range of the building, and add it to the dead load section. We consider the live load and add a flow load of minus 3 kN per meter square in the defined range. We will now assign the self weight to the whole structure. Flow loads are assigned automatically. Moving on to the load combinations, we select the load combination code as IS456 IS800. The load combinations generated are added. We are now done with the loads and the load combinations. Next, let us set the analysis option and define commands. And we run the analysis. We can see the output in the StatPro Connect Edition viewer. If there is any error, warning and message, it will be notified in this section. In post-processing, for various loads and load combinations, StatPro provides node displacement as well as relative BIM displacement detail tables. We can see the animated deflections for various loading conditions.
For instance, earthquake in the positive x direction, earthquake in the negative z direction can be seen here. Let's see the reactions now. We can drag the reaction to view it clearly. BIM results are also available for various loading conditions. We can select a beam and check the beam stress. We can see how the stresses are changing along the length of the beam. StatPro provides various graphs for all loads and load combinations. Here we see banding moment diagram, shear force diagram and axial force diagram for earthquake in the negative z direction. That's all for now. We will see you next time. Thank you.